Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I thought I would take a break from my project about NYX. I'm actually doing a, like a whole research project on NYX Cosmetics. The project actually inspired me to film this video right about now. So today's video is all about my top 10 drugstore makeup products. And these are some of the most amazing products I've discovered in the last probably like month, two months three months about that time. These products are not only affordable, but they're very high quality, which I think is amazing, especially in the drugstore. We already have this relationship, guys, where you know I love drugstore products, I know you love drugstore products, so it's like, <laughs> we're friends. So the first product I'm talking about today is from NYX. Actually, half of the products in today's video are from NYX. I know, I was doing a whole project on NYX, this is a concealer. This also will be really great to correct anything on your face or any discoloration on your face in general. And then if you want to contour, if you're really fair skin tone, they got you. If you're really medium, they got you. And then if you're like deep, they still got you. Snaps, nips, real MVP. One more thing I have to say about this concealer palette is if you do have dry skin, I don't recommend this concealer palette to you because it's really sticky and I feel like it's going to be really dry on dry skin. But if you do have dry skin and you have tried this before, let me know down below and let us all know down below how you liked it. So that means I personally get oily in the T-zone. <sighs> I'm still sick guys. <laughs> so that means I get oily in the T-zone and then also I get oily by the cheek area and then oily by the chin area. The NYX concealer palette actually reminds me a lot, a lot of the MAC concealer palette, I will say the MAC one is a bit more moisturizing. I feel like it definitely goes for a lot more skin types compared to the NYX one, which is definitely more drying on my part. Now the next product I have is an oldie but a goodie. This is from Martin Wild. This is called Brulee. It's pigmented to the point where you can use it for a simple look. Or for example, you can just use it for to set your eyeshadow primer. So I definitely love this product. This has been one of the real MVPs in my makeup routine about in the last three weeks. The next product I have is from NYX. These are the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadows. I've recently discovered these. I've had these in my collection maybe for about like three to four months now. They're highly, highly pigmented and they're definitely more on the frosty, shimmery side, more so on the frosty side of eyeshadows, but they're amazing lid colors to put on your lids to really make your lids really pop and stand out. And I definitely love all the colors in this line. I have a lot of them. And the next product I have is from NYX. I know, another NYX product, but I've been loving NYX products. I I, I can't just put them down because they're so good. Um, this is actually called the NYX Eyeshadow Base, and I actually used this in one of my recent tutorials, and it was like a blue makeup look, I believe, and it's just a black eyeshadow base, and I've been loving this to put under my eyeshadows because it really makes your eyeshadows, especially when you're doing like a smoky eye or when you're going for a vibrant eyeshadow makeup look, it definitely makes your eyeshadow stand out and look extremely vibrant. The NYX HD blushes, I believe they came out with these products maybe this year, I believe. So if you guys can tell, I definitely have my moments with blushes. Sometimes I'm like, I'm about blushes, and sometimes I'm like, you don't really need them half the time. Right now I'm on with my cake with blushes, so I definitely recommend these blushes. They're super highly, superb <laughs> pigmented, and also another thing I have to say is the colors are absolutely beautiful. I love bronze, and it, I like cracked it because I use it so much, and I carry it around with me so much, so of course... I'm going to be clumsy and I'm going to crack it, let's be real. Now the next product I have for you guys is actually a concealer. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. This concealer is one of the best drugstore concealers I've ever tried out, me personally. I love the consistency of it. It's like a light to medium concealer, but it's like definitely medium right where you need it. You know, it could definitely go on to medium to full coverage if you go ahead and build it up. The only thing I have to say about this concealer that I'm not the biggest fan of is the color range. I think the color range could be so much better, and if the color range was so much bigger it would be amazing but we're asking for a lot because we're at the drugstore and we're dealing with Maybelline so we're maybe asking for a little bit too much but definitely if you can ever check out this concealer I definitely recommend this to you if you like concealers that are really high coverage but then also it doesn't feel so heavy on the skin. The next product I have is from Circa, Circa Beauty I believe and I actually discovered these products from my Walgreens video so I'm definitely going to pick up some more of these branded products so they actually are sold in my actual Walgreens. But this product I've been loving, this is in Topaz, this is their eyeshadow crayon. Think of this product like a NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil, pretty much just like it, but it's very long wearing. And then one more thing I have to say about this is it's highly pigmented and I absolutely adore it. I think it's a bit more expensive on the drugstore scale 
of prices but it's totally worth it and I'm definitely gonna pick up some more so if you guys want to see more tutorials with some more Cirque Beauty products let me know down below now the next product I have is actually in the drugstore but it's mostly in or only in Walgreens drugstores here in the States I believe this is from Botanics and this is a Radiance highlighter pen when I was doing my Walgreens video I thought in my head this product actually reminds me of Life Boost from Mac which is like the um, highlighting pen if you saw that video you can definitely go ahead and check it out if you'd like Thank you so much for your support on that video guys. I really appreciate it and thank you so much for some of y'all who were like no girl No, I totally hear what you were saying. Don't worry So the next product I have is from NYX Also, you can use this product to keep your brows in place or for example You can go ahead and use this to just run through your brows just to keep it really effortlessly If you're going for something that's really effortless, I definitely recommend this to you It's very pigmented very high quality. I feel like a lot of people are comparing the NYX brow products that they just came out with this year to a lot of Anastasia or Anastasia brow products. Definitely go ahead and check out this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara if you would like. Now you wouldn't think I wouldn't do a top 10 drugstore product without mentioning this product right here, Black Radiance Ginger Snap. Lord, this, this highlighter, okay? This highlighter is like just everything that you need to check out, okay? It's definitely one of the best highlighters I've ever tried, ever. Move over Becca, move over MAC, move over Urban Decay. One of the best, best highlighters ever for women of color. You should so check this out if you ever get a chance, or when you do get a chance, you need to check this out. Especially if you're obsessed with highlighters, you need to check this out. You already know I love this. I definitely just needed to mention it to you even more. One more time, and if you haven't picked it up yet from all the times I've mentioned it before, what are you waiting for? Definitely go and check it out. Alright guys, so those are my top 10 drugstore makeup products that I've discovered over the last like 2-4 to four months. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to go ahead and subscribe for more videos every week. Thank you guys so much again. And I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in my next video. See you guys soon. Adios. The NYX Concealer Palette actually reminds me a little bit of the MAC Concealer Palette. And I love both of these products. New York City. Why are you so loud? Then the next product I uh, the next product I use. Okay, let's try that again. The next product I have. The next product I have is... Next, moving on to the NYX products. So these products are from NYX for the 30th time. So you can use this product to set your eye. Nope. <laughs> I'm like out of breath because my nose is gooey. I did mention, ugh, I can't talk. Literally, this is annoying. In today's video, I have a cool tone smoky eye for you guys. It's more on the silver side. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's begin.